QST, QST. You are listening to the Peterborough Amateur Radio Club Repeater System, the E3BUY, Coburg, Ontario. Access tone is 162.2 Hz. For more information see www.ve3pbo.ca. The professional loafers net will start in one minute. Please stand by for net. Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Professional Loafers Net, sponsored by the Peterborough Amateur Radio Club in Peterborough, Ontario, Canada. The Professional Loafers Net takes place every weekday morning at this time. My name is Trevor Tango Romeo Echo, Victor Oscar Romeo. My call sign is Victor Echo 7 Bravo Mike, and I am coming to you remotely from Pitt Meadows, British Columbia, and I will be your net controller this morning. Before we begin the net, is there any emergency or priority traffic? If so, please come now. All right, silence is always good there. Do we have any mobiles or portable stations wanting to check into the professional loafers net this morning? Come now. KPI mobile. DE3BSR Mobile. Good morning, Trevor. All right. We have two fine gentlemen there. DE3KBI. Very good morning. How are you doing? Good morning, Trevor, and everybody on frequency. Well, we're not doing we just gassed up at the reservation here for a dollar twenty-eight liter. And so we're headed south on 45 and we're going down to do a bit of kibitzing uh, uh, with the guys at uh, Ham Depot. So um, there's a premium on seats, so the race is on as to who gets there first. Back to you, Trevor. <laughs> the race is on. Yeah, George Jones. There you go, Paul. Thank you very much. Well, uh, you, you're, you're lucky uh, for what you pay for fuel out there. Uh, our gas prices here right now uh, are about $1.76 a liter for uh, regular grade gasoline so anyway it has been higher this year but it has come down a bit but still still way too much a dollar 76 a liter but there you go that's life all right thank you paul for checking in and uh, we'll get back to you a bit if you're still around and uh mr don ve3 bsr good morning don and good morning trish if she's around come on in don Good morning, Trevor. I uh, know Trish isn't around. Uh, I'm uh, I'm southbound, uh, headed for uh, Ham Depot, the same uh, Steve's place, the same as uh, Paul is. Uh, Trish is home. Uh, she has a, a house to herself for the day, and she quite enjoys it. She can have her stinky fish for lunch, and uh, that I don't I don't even like being around. And uh, she will do as as she pleases. So we're gonna go play uh, play radio and and taunt Paul. So. <laughs> That's always a fun day. Anyway, you have a good day. Say hi to Jen, and uh, thanks for doing the net. This is really kind of cool to have a net controller halfway halfway around the world. Anyway, you take care. Thanks for doing the net. We may be one and done, uh, but we'll be listening as long as we can. VE3BSR, back to net control. VE3BSR, very good, Don. Well, you drive safely and uh, have a great day. What's the weather like in uh, Peterborough this morning, Don? The 3 bsr that was almost total scratch. Uh, Don didn't get much out of that at all except for the air cannon. So <laughs> uh, I presume you're uh, going to be putting up a, an antenna in a tree somewhere. But anyway, thanks for checking in, Don. And uh, we'll get back to you a little bit later if you're still around or not. But uh, have yourself a good day. All right, do we have any other mobiles or portables that would like to check in? Come now. All right. Let's go on to base stations. Anyone, anywhere, national or international, that would like to check into the professional loafers net, please come now. Uh, Victor Echo 3, Bravo Lima, Mike. 
Victor Echo 3, India Romeo Kilo in Ashburnham. 3 part time amateur on Ham Depot in C5R. All right, we've got a few fine folks there. Let's start with uh, Mr. Barry and Zoe, the E3 BLM. Barry, uh, which side of the tree did you do this morning? Victor uh, Echo 7, Bravo Mike. Good morning. Good morning, Trevor. Good morning to uh, Jennifer when you see her. And uh, I went up the tree this time. I thought I'd be breezing it's a little more open, and you get a better uh, get a better range. But uh, that's done. She's always got one of her toys here banging it against my leg because I'm required to throw it down the hall so she can touch it. <laughs> anyway, everything's doing well. It's quite cool here. It's great to hear you. This is this is amazing. It's just like you're here in Peterborough, Trevor. But anyway, great to hear you. I'll be monitoring along. Good morning to the shortwave listeners, and turn it back to you. Do you be along? All right. Very good, Barry. Great to hear you, as always. And uh, the uh, beautiful Nina in, uh, I think it's Ashburnham, VE3 IRK. Very good morning to you, Nina. Come in and tell us all about it. Good morning, Trevor. It's really good to hear from you, and uh, thank you for doing our net for us. It's, uh, it's unique. And, uh, of course, I think all our guys are a little bit unique and gals. Um, I think we're a close-knit bunch, and, uh, but we still like uh, to have visitors. And uh, we like to know what's going on with our family in the mornings. So uh, I'm sure that our uh, friends in the States, which I uh, did hear, uh, college Station checking in there this morning, and uh, I'm sure that they're full of turkey or whatever kind of meat they celebrate with, and if they don't celebrate with me, then uh, that's just fine, too. Anyway, uh, Trevor, it's uh, uh, cold here this morning. I did take the garbage out about 10 minutes ago, and the wind is cold. Uh, it's not going to get above zero today, I don't think, but at least we have the sun. I have to get ready to go to the church with my baking to get it ready to set up for the bazaar tomorrow morning. Back to you, VE, VE7, uh, BM, VE3, IRK. VE3, IRK. Very good, Nina. Good to hear you. And uh, yeah, good luck with uh, getting your baking to its uh, destination there. And uh, if you don't have anywhere else to take it, uh, you can uh, you can ship it out here. <laughs> I'm sure it tastes good. So, very good. All right. And let's go to Mr. Poda, the E3 PTA. Stephen, uh, gosh, I, uh, I got the uh, uh, TCA magazine the uh, day before yesterday in my mailbox. And, uh, boy, what a beautiful uh, write-up on page 60 there of... Uh, uh, your activations and all the information about POTA and of course uh, V3 uh, BSR Don was instrumental in putting that uh, uh, that story together but uh, yeah a couple of great photos and uh, very much enjoyed reading it so uh, congrats to both of you on that. Uh, are you going out to do some POTA today Stephen? Uh, come on in. Oh, very good morning Travis. Uh, beautiful day down here, sun shining. It's cool, crisp, but a uh, lovely day. Yeah, I kind of uh, kind of thrilled to see that article uh, show up, and of course I got the uh, the big plaque from uh, the event that they have there during the summer from Porta. So I had a couple of uh, Porta uh, milestones this uh, this month, so we're doing pretty good. Uh, probably not going to be doing any Porta today. Uh, we're going to be starting on a new park, and I'm just uh, Trying to uh, decide whether I do the ones in Peterborough or I do a local one. I'd like to go up to Peterborough once a week and uh, do a poda party, but uh, we're having a little difficulty getting that organized. Everybody's got other things on their minds and uh, keep them going. But it's a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it. And the boys are coming down here this, after, this morning to uh, we have our uh, fish fry at the Ham Depot down here. So we go over to Captain George's and. Uh, they got some pretty nice fish. Really get it hot, though. I'll tell you, you can burn yourself on it. It, it comes uh, 
definitely out of the fire uh, form. V3 PTA. V3 PTA. All right, Stephen, that sounds wonderful. Yeah, uh, Friday fish for sure. Uh, yeah, uh, I, get, I, I assume it's uh, deep fried like fish and chips. Maybe not. But anyway, enjoy it and uh, have yourself a great day, Stephen. Uh, great to hear you in here as always. And uh, let's go down to our southern gentleman in College Station, Texas. November Charlie, 5 Romeo. Very good morning, Robert, and uh, hope your Thanksgiving weekend is going well for you and your family. And uh, did you get those new Apple devices all uh, set up and uh, operating there? Come on in, Robert. Well, good morning, Trevor, and everybody on the net, NC5R. Thanks for taking the net, Trevor. You're doing a great job, as everyone knew you would. And uh, yeah, we had a nice Thanksgiving, just the two of us, uh, Vicki and I, so it was very quiet. and. Uh, that was okay. We communicated with family via the internet a, a little bit, and uh, that was nice. And had a nice meal. Didn't overdo it. And uh, <clears throat> we'll have uh, some more leftovers today, so that's all good. Um, well, I got the Apple devices that I got uh, set up. Uh, Vicky still hasn't taken her new Apple Watch out of the box yet. She'll do it when she's ready. It takes her a little while to uh, to embrace um, the idea that she's going to have to uh, <laughs> set up a new piece of uh, equipment. But that's that's cool. She'll she'll do it when she's ready. And I'm getting a new uh, MacBook Pro uh, computer today going to be delivered sometime today, and so I'm excited about that. It's always a bit of a double-edged sword because of when you get a new computer, that's fun and exciting, but there's a lot of setup to do, and I'm starting from scratch on this one. I'm not going to migrate stuff from uh, my other computer. I'm just going to install the things I want to install on it for now. So I've got a lot of uh, license keys and things that I have to retrieve, but they're all stored in my 1Password app. So uh, it'll all work out fine. It'll just take a little while to do it. Back to net. Everybody have a good day. NC5R. Thank you, Trevor. NC5R. Very good, Robert. Great to hear you as always. So uh, enjoy that new uh, new equipment there. And uh, yes. Yeah, uh, I know what you mean by setting up uh, new computers and so on. Boy, what a what a task! But anyway, it'll all come together for you. I know that. All right, we are at the bottom of the list, uh, so we'll be uh, asking for any more check-ins for the professional loafers net this morning. Uh, check-ins from anywhere, national or international. If you're out there and would like to check in, please come now. Victor Alpha 3 Echo Tango Mobile. VE3 IEL Bob on Romain Street. Victor Alpha 3 Hotel XC Charlie VA3 HXC in the Holy Land. Good morning, Trevor. VE3 EKG. All right. There we Four more fine people here. Victor Alpha 3 Echo Tango. Very good morning. What's happening? And, uh, uh, what are you up to there today? Yeah, good morning, uh, Trevor. Good morning to all uh, all on frequency there this morning. Uh, no, we're off to uh, Port Hope. It's, uh, like Steve said, it's fish day, so we're off to uh, get some fish and chips here and uh, have a visit with the fellows in, uh, up in this area. So anyway, it's the name is Don, by the way, and we did meet on... Uh, when you were down, so you have a good day, and thanks for running the net. You're doing a great job, so we'll turn it back to you there, Trevor. The A3E team, Mobile, and probably one and done. All right, the A3E team. Very good morning, Don. I, I thought you sounded uh, like it was mobile. I thought you sounded like you were mobile there, so one and done. So uh, 
thank you very much. Great to hear you, and uh, thank you for checking in this morning. And Mr. Bob, Victor Echo 3, India Echo Lima. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Carol. How are you doing this morning? Come on in. Wow. Okay, uh, Trevor, thank you very much this morning, and thank you for picking it up for me. I appreciate that. And as uh, other folks have been saying, fine job there, right, Trevor? Fine. You know, just super duper. Hello to Paul on the Hill with his railway hat and his big smile and Mark and Barb and all the listeners and all those that are uh, uh, out there today. A brighter day today. And, uh, well, we'll see how that works out. Carol is still sleeping, so no coffee for Bob yet. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> okay. Uh, back to Trevor from VE3IEL. Bob on Romain Street. VE3IEL. Very good, Bob. Good to hear you, as always. So, and uh, say good morning to uh, Carol when she gets up there. That's for sure. Sounding great. All right. And Victor Alpha 3, Hotel X-Ray Charlie, Mr. Keith, uh, very good morning to you. How are you doing? And uh, gosh, I, I, I want to get more information about your book uh, publishing there, uh, Keith. And uh, I understand you've got a book signing come up, coming up, which I won't be able to attend, of course. But uh, I would like to get more information about uh, where I could purchase a copy of that book. So... Come on in, Keith. Uh, very good morning to you. Tell us all about it. Good morning, Trevor. Good morning, uh, uh, everyone on the net. Cousins down south, Paul Hill, and the shortwave listeners. Good morning, Mom. I'm sure that she will be joining us shortly. And if not, she's probably having a snooze in, or she's gabbing away with her newfound friends, you know, as she calls them, the girls. Uh, the, the book signing is tomorrow, and it's a collection of uh, writings and short stories that have accumulated over the years. And... Uh, I thought, well, you know, heck, I might as well uh, publish them instead of them languishing on the hard drive. So I did that, and it's called uh, Another Day, just stories of another day, and that's all it's about. So hopefully it'll go well tomorrow. Uh, we shall see. Uh, well, I, you know, if nothing else, you know, we'll give it a shot and see what happens. That's about it for now, uh, uh, Trevor, and we shall pass it back to you. Thanks for taking the net. Sounds great. We shall catch you down the log. The a 3 hxc back to the net control. VA 3 HXC, very good, Keith. Great to hear you. So, uh, good luck uh, with the uh, book signing there tomorrow. All right, let's go to Miss Debbie, Victor Echo 3, Echo Kilo Golf. Uh, Debbie, sounding good this morning also. Come on in and uh, tell us what's happening today. Good morning to everybody on net, shortwave listeners, <coughs> Paul on the Hill. And, uh, well, we're going to try and get our flu shots today, Dad and I. And I have a few things to do today. I have um, one of the fellows from the church is going to call me, and um, we're going to uh, talk over the phone about the, the kettle shifts that need to be done. And then I have somebody who is going to call to help me with some... Uh, uh, computer things, and then later on in the afternoon, I have uh, somebody uh, from CMIB coming over to help me with um, getting the uh, the new updates for uh, the uh, the Brilliant, as I had to send it back to get it fixed, and I haven't uh, downloaded the uh, the updates yet, and I've been holding back on that because I've heard people from the uh, the uh, brilliant the users uh, brilliant the user uh, discussion list that some folks are having some trouble since they have downloaded the uh, the updates so um, yeah, yeah so I've been holding back on it and uh, I'm going to try it with uh, uh, our independent specialist today and then uh, later on I'm going to go to a fundraiser tonight with the Canadian Council of the Blind, music evening and uh, all sorts of goodies and uh, different things. And unfortunately, our uh, storyteller that was uh, supposed to come and uh, entertain us tonight 
had come down with a very bad case of the flu. But we've got it all uh, rectified. We've got uh, some good stuff happening, and everybody's going to have uh, a lot of good fun. And uh, so we're looking forward to it. Yeah. So I'll pass it back to you there, Trevor. Not so sure if I'm going to be here for the second kick because I have to go out uh, before 9.30 and get my shot. So you guys have a good weekend, and we'll talk to you soon. EE3, EKG. Very good, Debbie. Well, sounds great. So, yes, busy days ahead and uh, things going on, that's for sure. I think uh, most of us are, are that way, even in, in retirement. Hi, hi. <laughs> I got new eyeglasses yesterday, and uh, boy, oh boy, are they ever terrific. I cannot believe uh how much better my vision is with the with these new glasses i was i was having difficulty and you know what i i got new glasses uh with a prescription uh just about a year ago and uh for the last two or three months uh i was having problem reading things so uh jennifer uh, recommended her optometrist went to him a couple of weeks ago just a wonderful wonderful man and uh very very professional uh, I got my new glasses yesterday, and like I said, boy, oh, boy, <laughs> I I can read beautifully, fine print, everything. It's it's just great, so so very happy to have them. Anyway, we are at the bottom of the list, so we will ask once again if there are any further check-ins for the Professional Loafers Net. Please come now. Dr. Echo 3, Hotel X3, Charlie. N6, RNJ. All right, three more fine folks there. Very good morning, Sylvia, BE3, HXC. Your son uh, Keith was on here a couple of months ago. You may have heard him or not, but uh, uh, he is around. So, how are you doing? And uh, I hope you're getting settled into your your new uh, location there, Sylvia. It sounds like a wonderful place, and uh, it sounds very much like. Uh, the uh, seniors' residence that we have right next door to our townhouse complex here. It's a it's a four story complex, a uh, four story building, and uh, it's uh, very modern. All the amenities, and uh, I've been in there a few times on for different occasions, and uh, it looks like a looks like a wonderful place. So hope hope you're doing well, and it's great to hear you back on the net again, Sylvia. So. Uh, Come on in and uh, let us know what's going on today. VE3 HXC. I agree. It is just wonderful. It's opening, uh, so I don't know what's going to happen. But that's okay. Uh, uh, I, there's lots to do in the apartment. I've got all, everything. It's just a, it is home, and I really do enjoy it. Um, well, good morning to you and good morning to Keith. I'm sorry I missed that. I was having my breakfast with the, when the um, maid brought it in. And that's, that's about all I have to say. Well, back to the E3 HXC. And good morning to everybody else. It's so nice to hear from you. I'm sorry I didn't get in sooner because I missed a lot of the conversation. Back to the E3 HXC. The E3 HXC, very good morning. Good to hear you, Sylvia. And take care and have yourself a, a great weekend there. This is Victor Echo 7, Bravo Mike. My name is Trevor, and I am your net control this morning for the Professional Lopers Net. So let's go down to Fort Collins, Colorado, and bring in Rob, November 6, Romeo, November Juliet. Very good morning, Rob. How are things in Fort Collins this morning? Good morning, Trevor. Good morning to everyone on net here. It's Rob and it's RMJ Fort Collins, where it is 6.57 in the morning here, Mountain Standard Time. Snow is falling <coughs> to minus 8. And only getting up to uh, minus seven today, so it's a it's a cold cold and snowy one here in Fort Collins. Uh, there's a good uh, I don't know two or three inches on the ground already, and it's supposed to snow all day. So uh, we got a snowy snowy Friday after Thanksgiving, which uh, you know what? that's not that's not bad. We'll put on some movies, turn on the fireplace, and uh, put on a movie, and uh, it sounds like a great way to spend a, a day off from work. Uh, Thanksgiving was a success. Had the uh, 
my son, daughter-in-law, and grandkids over. Um, we had, uh, you know, we have our son James here from California with us, and it just had a lovely, lovely day. Uh, very, very relaxing, cooking, um, kind of just, you know, watched uh, football and a couple Thanksgiving shows, and, uh, you know, because it was quite cold yesterday. It wasn't snowing yesterday, but it was getting ready to. Uh, so yeah, very, very nice. Uh, looking forward to the rest of the long weekend. So uh, the snow is supposed to end tonight, hopefully by tomorrow. Um, we can start getting back out and getting our holiday preparations ready. Anyway, Trevor, great net. Very happy you've joined the uh, crew here as a uh, net controller. Do a great job. And uh, back to you. This is Rob in 6RNJ for Collins. And 6RNJ. Very good, Rob. Great to hear you. And yes, falling snow. You know, uh, I'm I'm quite used to falling snow. I I lived in the province of Quebec for the first 28 or 29 years of my life. But uh, you know, it's really nice when uh, you get nice, light, fluffy snow uh, coming down and falling on the ground and giving it a a little carpet of white all over. But uh, when it gets to be uh, three feet high, that's a bit much. But Anyway, it is nice even to, uh, you know, uh, put on a nice warm coat and get out and walk in the falling snow when it's coming down. It's 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 wonderful. But uh, uh, I'm not really a winter person. So anyway, glad to be here on the west coast of Canada. All right. Thank you, Rob. We'll uh, call you back here in a little while. And let's bring in Randy. I think it's Randy, Victor Echo 3, Romeo November Whiskey. Uh, come on in, Randy. Good morning, all on net. Not a whole lot to report, but just throwing a bean in the pot since I'm around. So uh, we had a nice turkey dinner yesterday and uh, celebrating second Thanksgiving because why not? Because everybody likes a nice Thanksgiving meal. <laughs> And a little bit later today, I'm going to head up to uh, Bancroft area uh, to take a, a tower trailer up for uh, for use at uh, the car rally, the uh, rally of the tall pines is this weekend. So um, taking up the the light tower to use as a uh, as an antenna support for a simplex uh, antenna that will be used in one of the rally stages. And uh, then tomorrow I'm supposed to go up and help them during the rally. I don't know if anyone else on net is helping out with the rally, but it's on tomorrow. Otherwise, enjoying uh, time with family here, and uh, my little dogs are uh, completely abandoned in me. Uh, when I show up at my mom and dad's, uh, the, uh, the little dogs go immediately to my mom, and uh, she caters to them, and the chihuahuas spend the entire time with her, and I have to convince them to come and visit me. So... Uh, I, I see how it works. She feeds them. They uh, they cater to her. I, I hope everyone has a great day. We'll talk to you later. And back to net control from the three R W N. The E three R W N. Very good, Randy. Well, oh, thank you very much. So yes, towers and antennas and what all else. But uh, yeah, that's all part of the the wonderful hobby that we enjoy here. So. All right, this is Victor Echo 7, Bravo Mike. My name is Trevor, net control for the Professional Loafers Net this morning. And uh, we are currently at the end of the list, so let's see if there is anyone else that would like to check into the net this morning. If so, please come now. Victor Alpha 3, November Whiskey. Victor Alpha 3, November Whiskey. Very good morning, John. Um, Sounds like you might be mobile, I'm not sure, but uh, you're sounding good anyway, whether you're base or mobile. Have you had your coffee yet this morning, uh, John? Come on in. All right, I'm sitting at my uh, desk in the radio room, so I'm only as mobile as the five wheels on my uh, desk chair are. So I'm not mobile, and uh, I am on my, I'm halfway through my second cup of coffee, and I will be at the rally tomorrow. Uh, Lawrence and I will be at the rally tomorrow, and uh, I'm just preparing the car for the last couple of things. I've got my cold weather gear, uh, my cold weather outfit, uh, my insulated uh, reflective coveralls. Um, uh, I've got to put a, a jug of windshield water. I've got to top up the windshield washer fluid in my car and put a jug in the car. I need to do that anyway for winter. 
Um, I've got my booster cables. Uh, also one of those uh, portable battery packs that will boost the car in most cases. Um, what else? I've got everything imaginable. I've got all my safety equipment on and in the car. Uh, just ready to go. Um, we're going to put some uh, new uh, foam. Not, they're not foams. They're more, I don't know, the, you know those um, insoles in my boots. Uh, because uh, last year's are dead. So, uh, today is just preparation day to make sure the car, pen and, uh, multiple pens and paper in case we drop a pen and, and we're doing traffic control or um, timing. That sort of thing. So today is preparation day for tomorrow morning. I won't be going up today. Uh, I will not be at the uh, pre, uh, pre-race meeting tonight. Um, I don't have the money to go up there and back and then up there and back. So I had tough time sleeping this morning. So uh, I got about three hours sleep last night. Three and a half hours sleep last night and that's it. So um, there will be a nap in my afternoon. Nothing spectacular for me. I, it's a beautiful sunny day here in Havelock, Ontario. And everybody have a great day. I'll be around for the next go. VA3NW. Very good, John. Great to hear from you. And uh, yes, I'm also halfway through my second cup of coffee this morning. I'm actually broadcasting uh, from right inside uh, Trev's Diner here this morning in my 50s retro diner, sitting at my uh, 50s uh, retro table with the chrome edging all around it and sitting on the retro chair and and uh, life is good because I'm I'm closer to the coffee pot here too this way when I'm uh, doing the net so that's that's a good thing. <laughs> great to hear from you, John, and uh, great to hear you're you're well prepared for uh, what lies ahead there in your life. So take care, my friend, and uh, we'll get back to you. Uh, before we go back to the top of the list, we'll just see if there's anyone else that would like to check into the professional loopers net this morning. My name is Trevor, Victor Echo 7, Bravo Mike. If you're a new check-in and would like to check in, please do so now. All right, nothing heard. We'll scoot back up to the top of the list and see if Paul is still around. The 3 KBI, Paul, are you there? If so, come on in. I guess Paul is busy and he's not available. All right. I uh, don't know if uh, Don, the 3 BSR, he was uh, on his way there to uh, the Ham Depot or wherever, and I think he's going go to get into trouble with uh, maybe Stephen there. But uh, VE3 BSR, Don, are you still around? If so, uh, come on in. All right, two more dead fish in the water. Barry, Victor Echo 3, Bravo Lima Mike. I think you must be uh, still around, and maybe you're... Uh, uh, scratching uh, Zoe there while you're sitting by the radio. The 3 BLM, Barry, are you there? Come on in. The 7 BM, the 3 BLM, going again, Trevor, good nap this morning, and you have big fill, shoes to fill doing the Friday morning nap, which you're appreciated, and you're sounding good, and you're, uh, you're fitting in there perfectly. So thanks for volunteering to do the Friday morning nap. It's always great to hear you. And then uh, I up- updated my iPhone, my Apple Watch, and then the watch had switched all the uh, controls around, so I kind of figured out how to get into what I need to get into. <laughs> but anyway, and one of my uh, Nest cameras uh, seems to be gone fluky, so i got to climb up on the end of the garage and find it, give it a swat up the side of the lens, I guess. Anyway, quit whining, enjoying you doing the net, and turn it back to you, uh, Trevor. Good morning, all of you, 3BLM. V3BLM. Very good, Barry. Great to hear you. You're sounding good. Uh, good luck with your uh, Nest camera there, and don't swat it too hard. Have yourself a great weekend, and uh, we'll uh, we'll catch you next week, I'm sure, on the net, for sure. All right. Uh, Miss Nina, V3IRK. Nina, come on in and give us your 7-3. Yes, good morning again, uh, Trevor. Uh, it's uh, certainly been good to hearing everybody this morning and uh, what the weather's like. And I have to agree, it's nice to walk in a nice, slow, coming down snow in uh, 
it's not too cold. And today, I don't think you'd want to. There's a 30% chance of flurries. And the winds from the northwest at 20K, with uh, our high being minus 3. So uh, they say minus 13 this morning and minus 7 this afternoon. So, uh, you know, it's not that that great out there. It, it looks lovely, though. It's, the sun is shining and everything is great. So I know the boys want to help uh, Steve get that antenna up in the air and uh, repaired, I guess, from what it was before. And because there isn't too much of a wind here, I don't know what it's going to be like down there uh, near the lake. So I'll just get, say that they might earn their fish and chips today. So I uh, will get ready now to uh, head to the uh, church for this bake sale and uh, take my lemon squares and uh, brownies with me. and. Um, I have a few Christmas uh, things that I am not using, so I am giving those to the bazaar portion so that they can uh, sell them. And uh, we've got all kinds of frozen meat pies. Uh, they're, I like them because they're usually stuffed with more meat and everything than you buy when you buy them in the store. And uh, they're a hearty meal uh, by themselves. So I will uh, say 7-3 to everyone. Uh, enjoy the day. Stay safe. And uh, have a wonderful weekend. And uh, enjoy those babies in Colorado there uh, and, and James uh, visiting. Uh, so we will uh, turn it back to you, Trevor, and thank everyone for being present and taking time out of their day and their holiday. 7-3, everyone. Back to you, Trevor. BE3IRK, very good, Nina. Great to hear from you, as always. So, uh, yeah, meat pies. Oh, gosh. You know, being a former Quebecer myself, uh, I used to love the uh, tortier, uh, tortiers, the meat pies. And uh, smother the top crust with a bit of ketchup and uh, mm, devour that uh, that torch here pie. Used to love it. You can buy it here in the stores, you know. And uh, there is a brand called Saint Hubert, which still comes from Quebec, but uh, it's nothing like the the homemade pies that uh, my mom used to make or my neighbors used to make. I used to have a neighbor living right below me here. Uh, she's no longer here in the complex, but. Uh, she was a widow lady, and uh, she's from uh, she's originally from Ontario, and she made uh, tortier pies every year here during the Christmas season while uh, she was living here below me, and uh, she would always give me a, a tortier pie. Very very good. I love those things. Anyway, thank you, Nina. Have a great weekend. Stay safe and stay healthy. Let's see if Stephen is still around. BE3 PTA, very, very busy man. Uh, he might be here, he might not. But let's see. PTA Stephen, are you still around? Come on in. No, I guess not. He's uh, he's busy and he's out and about and what have you. So we'll go back to uh, College Station, Texas, and uh, say good morning once again to Robert. Uh, how are you doing, uh, uh, right now, Robert, have you had your breakfast or your your coffee or uh, what's going on right now, Robert? NC5R, come on in, my friend. NC5R, back to net. Yep, I had the breakfast and on the second cup of coffee. And I want to tell Barry, BLM, that you are right. They did move a lot of things around on the Apple Watch. But just to help you a little bit, you now open the control center by pressing the side button. And if you have multiple watch faces and you want to select a different watch face, you now have to tap and hold on the screen to bring up the selection of watch faces. So maybe that will help you a little bit. 
Um, it takes just a little getting used to, but it's yeah, and the interface has changed uh, quite a bit with now with widgets and so on. But it's actually quite nice once you get used to it. Anyway, um, I'll say 73 to everyone. Hope everybody has a good weekend. I don't know whether uh, Black Friday is a big deal in Canada or even exists in Canada. Um, but if it does, stay out of the stores because it'll be madness. <laughs> but maybe there'll be some deals online. I don't know. I'm not not a big shopper of these deals. I don't usually feel like I come out too good, so I I just don't mess with them too much. Seventy three, y'all. Have a good weekend. Thank you, Trevor. NC five R back to net. NC five R, very good. Uh Robert, yes, I know what you mean about staying out of the stores on Black Friday. Yes, we do celebrate uh, Black Friday up here in Canada. Uh, we have, uh, in uh, recent years, uh, followed the uh, the American tradition of uh, Black Friday. So, oh yes, the uh, the retailers and all the different businesses they're they're trying to get your money and uh, entice you into their big sales, so to speak. So, yeah. Furniture stores, oh, commercials, commercials on TV, Black Friday furniture deals. It's, uh, you know, <laughs> getting sick of hearing it. But uh, anyway, it is what it is. Seven three, uh, Robert. Great to hear you. Have yourself a great weekend down there, and uh, stay safe and stay stay healthy. Look forward to hearing you on the net next week for sure. Uh, Victor Alpha 3 Echo Tango Don, uh, he was mobile and said he was going to be one and done, so we'll skip on down to, uh, the E3 IEL once again. Uh, Bob on Romaine Street, come on in if you're there, Bob. Thank you very much, uh, Trevor, yeah, I'm still here. Boy, I like this bright, shiny day in November. Well, we got a busy, uh, weekend coming up because, uh, you know, birthday and all that, and uh, lots of things to do before Christmas. Anyway, uh, next week we'll be looking forward to seeing uh, Drew. So again, back to you there, uh, Trevor, and uh, well, uh, great job. BE3 IEL, Bob on Romain Street. BE3 IEL, very good, Bob. Well, thank you for coming in again, and good morning to you and, and Carol there. Have a great day. And a great weekend, and uh, stay safe, my friend. All right, let's uh, see if uh, Mr. Keith is still around. I'm sure he must be. Victor Alpha 3, Hotel X-Ray Charlie. Keith, come on in if you're there. Well, thanks again there, Trevor. Yes, I'm still around. I'm just still wandering around, uh, getting a few things done while I'm on the radio here, so I just switched over to Echo Link. And... Um, yeah, uh, Black Friday is uh, still it's still an event up here, but you know it's apparently it's been really subdued over the last couple of years because you know people aren't going to the malls anymore. There's a lot of malls that are pretty desperate. Uh, a lot of uh, people going shopping online, so we have a lot of competition for uh, Black Friday sales. But anyways, that's about it for now. Uh, like I said, we got the book signing tomorrow. I'm looking forward to that. And everybody else, uh, uh, have a great weekend. This is VA3 HXC back to Neck Control. VA3 HXC, very good, uh, Keith, and uh, once again, uh, uh, good luck with your book signing tomorrow. I'm sure it'll be a, a huge success, so uh, have fun with that. And back down to Miss Debbie, VE3 EKG. Debbie, are you still around? Come on in and say your 7-3. VE3 EKG, Debbie, are you uh, still around? Okay, I guess Debbie must be tied up. All right. Well, let's go to the other lovely lady, uh, Victor Echo 3, Hotel X-Ray Charlie. Sylvia, I hope you're still there. Come on in and uh, uh, say your 7-3 and uh, tell us anything more you want to tell us there. By golly. BE3 uh, HXC. Sylvia, come on in. Thank you, Trevor. Thank you for those very kind words. It was so nice. And uh, uh, anyway, I so I didn't recognize who you were at first, so I apologize. But welcome, and thank you for taking the net. Um, 
I won't be going out again today, <laughs> but it's such a lovely day. It's nice and shiny, and and uh, nine is probably right. It's probably the temperature is probably way down low, but um, I don't usually go out uh, when it's really cold anyway. But um, now I can't even go to the dining room because of the uh, outbreak. Anyway, I manage, and there's so much to do in the in the apartment, and it's quite big, and uh, so there's lots, still lots to do. I'm still unpacking. Anyway, back to you, V3 HXC. And um, talk to you later, Keith. Back to you, V3 HXC. V3 HXC, very good, Sylvia. Great to hear you as always, and uh, uh, glad you're enjoying your your new uh, place there. And uh, it sound it does sound lovely, and. Uh, I, I know you'll be happy there and you're making lots of new friends in the place. That's great. All right, 7-3. Have a great weekend, Sylvia. And let's go back down to Fort Collins and uh, bring in Rob again. N6, RNJ. Rob, it's all yours. Come on in. Good morning again, Trevor. Good morning again to everyone on net. Here is Rob N6 RNJ, Fort Collins, Colorado, where it is 721 in the morning here in Mountain Standard Time. Still has snow falling, which is supposed to snow all day, so uh, just looking out the window, thinking this is a great way to kick off the holiday season of a beautiful blanket of snow. Uh, putting up Christmas lights will have to wait. <laughs> um, so we'll take care of that when we get a moment. But uh, other than that, Trevor, uh, not much else to add today other than uh, best wishes to Keith for his book signing. Uh, we'll definitely be sure, curious to hear how that goes after the event this weekend. And uh, other than that, um, yeah, not much else to add. Good net. Uh, glad to have you on board, Trevor. Anyway, this is Rob. And, oh, uh, and for Rob down in College Station, if this is your first uh, Apple Silicon MacBook, um, you may find you, you'll ask you to install uh, Rosetta for uh, older apps that have not yet been uh, compiled for the uh, M series processors. I, I had no trouble when I had to do it on mine. Everything runs just fine, but uh, there is that little step that brings you back to the old days when uh, Apple switched over to Intel Silicon a long time ago. Anyway, that's enough from me, uh, Trevor. Back to you. This is Rob in 6RNJ for Collins. And 6 RNG. Very good, uh, Rob. And uh, have yourself a great weekend and, uh, and enjoy that uh, snow. I hope it uh, doesn't get too overwhelming for you down there. But uh, yeah, like I mentioned earlier, I love fluffy falling snow and uh, a little carpet of white on the ground. It's, it's great to walk in that stuff. So have a great weekend, 7 3, Rob. And thanks for being here. And let's see if Randy's still around. Victor Echo 3, Romeo Whiskey November. Randy, are you still there? Come on in. I guess Randy is gone. He may have said one and done. I'm not sure. Let's go and see if John, see what he's up to. Have you had your second coffee or your breakfast? or What are you up to now, John? VA3NW, come on in. Say your 7-3. cereal. I've had two coffees. I'm ready to go. I've got um, doing preparations. So this afternoon I'll be, uh, after I get the car packed exactly how I want it, I've got uh, two and about three quarters cases of Costco water in the car, which is 40, 80, about 110 bottles of water in the car. That should keep me hydrated for a day. Um, being about 55 liters of water. Um, I just have them because I got them at Costco the other day, and uh, I didn't want to take them out till after the rally. Um, what else? Uh, this afternoon I do lunches, get my lunches ready. I've already gotten my cold weather gear out. I just haven't uh, tried it on from last year. Let's see if I, uh, um, it still fits. I think it will. I think it's going to fit better this year than it did last year. So, uh, woohoo! Smaller belly. Anyways, um. Nothing spectacular for me. My snow tires went on on Tuesday, uh, and they were retorted, and uh, so they're good to go. The car is mint. I'm going to top up the tank uh, this afternoon and get it right royal topped up, and then uh, top it up again at the other end. At the, 
uh, when I get to the rally and then uh, make sure that I have every drop of gasoline that I could possibly, possibly need. Um, it's a beautiful sunny day here. Sun is shining beautiful out here. So uh, with that, I'll turn it back to that control. This is Victor Alpha 3 November Whiskey. Victor Alpha 3 November Whiskey. All right, very good, John. Well, happy motoring and uh, stay safe, my friend, and uh, uh, enjoy yourself there. Yes, yeah, speaking of topping up the fuel, I, oh gosh, that's a reminder. I, I got to do that first thing this morning. Uh, the fuel in my car is very low. I meant to go out last evening after dinner and uh, fill it up and uh, totally forgot. Got involved doing other things because uh, uh, gas is usually uh, several cents uh, per liter cheaper in the evening uh, than it is during the daytime. And the stupid gas prices here during the day, they can go up and down like a yo-yo. Uh, it's crazy. But uh, anyway, you just have to uh, take your chances. And when you need gas, you need gas. So there you are. I can go uh, for a 20-minute drive out to Silverdale, and I can save myself about 22 cents per liter out there. But uh, anyway, we'll see what transpires. It's going to be a nice sunny day. Might just do that. Anyway, uh, thank you, John, and uh, that brings us to the end of the net, so we'll make one more call to see if there's anyone else that would like to say good morning to us on the Professional Loafers Net. Uh, if so, please come now. All right, hearing nothing further, this will conclude the Professional Loafers Net for Friday, November 24th, 2023. Everyone have a great weekend. And uh, stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourself and one another. It's been great to be here as always on the uh, Professional Hofers Net with uh, folks from Peterborough, Ontario area and uh, south of the border as well. Great to, great to always hear you. Take care everyone, 173. This is Victor Echo 7, Bravo Mike, now returning the frequency back to regular amateur use. Bye-bye for now. Good job, Trevor. Great hearing you. Thank you, Barry. XRNG, V3BLM, are you still on frequency, Rob? XRNG, V3BLM.